welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. This is Thinking Outside of the Box, episode number two, guys. And, you know, we, we debuted episode one like five or six days ago, maybe a week. I can't freaking remember, man. But anyways, we started the debut episode about a week ago or so, or I, I, whatever the hell. I, I don't know when it was posted. It, forget it. But after that debut episode, you guys really enjoyed that series, and today we are back for episode number two, and I'm actually going to switch it up a little bit. A ton of you guys suggested maybe making our own like fantasy attire slash custom guys out of this, and so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try something a little bit differently here and just kind of see what we can come up with. And um, I've been brainstorming a little bit. I looked over the box. I didn't, you know, fully dive in because I want to keep it fresh for you guys. I don't want to have everything fully planned out before we dive in because that's not fun. You know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. F it. You know, you don't always get it right. Unless you're MDT, then you're always correct. Every single time. Never messes up once. Not even on action figure surgery. Never botches nothing. Straightforward perfection. Every single time. But today, I have some ideas for you guys and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start off with, uh, I think what I want to do, and now that I'm looking at it, I may want to do two. I know I want to use this Kofi right here to make a custom guy, but now that I'm thinking, I think I want to use both versions, and uh, we may have a little bit of diddly diddly doodly going on here, and we're going to try it. Uh, I'm not sure how successful we're going to be. You know, we may epically fail, but we're going to see how this goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Kofi and this Kofi out, and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm thinking. So this is just our bases. You know, we got to start off with our bases. This is our two bases that we're going to start off with, and then uh, I actually had an idea for this Shawn Michaels fodder right here. Here. Um, I don't think we're going to change him up. I think we're going to keep him as Shawn Michaels. We're just going to do like a Frankenstein effort. I think I have some parts laying around to fit this guy. So we're going to take this Shawn Michaels figure and see if we can complete him. So that's three bases right there. Um, I had an idea for another one. Uh, what was it? I think it was this Daniel Bryan, maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll just we're just gonna take this Daniel Bryan, see what comes of it, or uh, maybe it was this Daniel Bryan. You know what? F it. We'll we'll do both. We'll take both Daniel Bryans and just kind of see what goes on with that. And then finally, I think I do need parts off of this custom Cedric Alexander, and I think I need parts off of this Shelton Benjamin. And I think that is it. I think that's all we're going to do here today. You know, what is that? One, two, three. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good amount of stuff we got to do. So I think this will turn out excellent. So uh, let's go ahead and take these guys. I think that's all we need. You guys can see that we have plenty of episodes to make right here. I mean, my God, look how many, look how much we can do. And you got to think as figures come out, as we continue to do surgery, as we continue to progress forward, we're going to get more parts and more ideas are going to come into my head. So I think this is a good start for episode number two. And now we're going to move on to the fodder boxes. I mean, where are my manners? guys. Well, yeah, if you don't know what outside, thinking outside the box is, if you guys missed episode one, it is the series where we take my massive random box full of uh, elite fodder. You guys can see all these figures are like broken down into parts. Then we go through my fodder boxes. As you guys can see here, we have arms and legs and stuff in each box. We got some heads and stuff. Another fodder box down here full of stuff. We take parts from all of these different boxes and we put them together with these parts to make uh, full figures out of them. So that's basically what the series is about. But anyways, now it is time to do uh, my favorite part, which is going to be going through these boxes and figuring out what we need for each person. So what I'm thinking for this first Kofi, guys, is I'm thinking take the legs right here and put them onto these legs, these thighs right here. So I'm thinking put these thighs over here. So what we're going to be missing is lower legs that are dark skin tone, knee pads, and kick pads. And we're probably going to switch out the head sculpt as well, just because I don't want it to be Kofi still. I want it to be a different guy. So we'll see if we can find a head sculpt for this guy. I may have, I, I thought I had a rich swan, but I don't see it laying around here. So we may have to use somebody else or maybe an older Kofi head sculpt. I, I don't know. We'll just kind of see. Um, I was really hoping I could find my rich swan head sculpt, but it doesn't look like we have it. Maybe we can make a different guy moving forward. I don't know. We'll look. We'll, we'll We'll just see what goes on. But for this guy, we do need the dark skin tone lower legs, which I'm sure we have here because, you know, we've done a ton of Shelton Benjamin swaps. So for our first order business, we are going to have to find that. So we have our lower legs, and now, yeah, right here, this is what we need. So these lower legs are going to be perfect for that. So that is our first order. Now what we have to do is find some knee pads that would look good on this blue attire. So you guys can kind of see what we're looking at. Maybe... Uh, so when we cut the thighs off, it's going to be what white, gold, and blue, and black. So maybe anything that's like that would fit perfectly. Uh, let's go to our knee pad section and find out what we can see. All right, guys, so here is my knee pad section. I don't think the stars and stripes would look pretty good on there. I mean, the white and gold would be decent. 
Um, I mean, these aren't bad, but they're kind of just plain. I don't know how well that would match up. Let's go ahead and look at it. Black with the little white designs. I mean, it might it might work. I mean, it kind of ties into that little logo right there. I mean, that might work. We'll, we'll analyze that. We'll see that in a minute. Um, I do want to give us some choices, though. You don't want to just pick the first thing you see. Silver, uh, I don't know if the silver would look that good on there. Um, golly, I mean, gold would gold look okay? I don't... I don't know if I like that. I mean, it kind of ties into the logo right there. The white and gold right here might work. I like the white and gold. I may see what the white and gold looks like, but we're not going to, again, we're not going to just jump the gun. We're not going to just jump off a bridge just yet. We want to see what we have uh, before we progress here. Black with silver dots. I just, I don't know, Brad. That's not terrible. We'll see about that one. I wish I had blue. I don't really have any blue ones besides the stars. I don't want to use the stars, man. I don't want to use the stars. Oh, snap. I kind of am feeling these right here, guys. I kind of like the way that looks right there. I don't know if I want to... You know what? We're going to go with these. We're going to go with these and just kind of see how it plays out. If it ends up sucking, it ends up sucking, and we can switch them out or something. I don't know. Or actually, we have these, which might even look better. I don't know. Screw it. We're going with the Neville ones. We're going with the Neville ones. Forget it. We're going with the Neville ones. Finally found the second one, Jesus Christ. All right, so now for our final little piece of our little Kofi Kingston Creator Wrestler deal. We do need some kick pads to finish him off, and I'm not exactly sure what I want to use for him. I mean, the Shelton Benjamin kick pads would work. They have black and gold in them, and I think that would work okay. One thing I'd like to do is kind of acetone off these little things on the front or paint that black, but I don't want to use any paint or anything. Kind of just want to, you know, let us go here, but I don't know. That may work right there. The only other option would be plain black kick pads with the rain on the bag that I could acetone off later. You know what? We're going to go with the Shelton Benjamin ones. We're going to go with these uh, black and gold ones just to tie in that gold, and uh, then we will see what that looks like at the end. Now we just need a head scan for the guy. Now for head sculpts, it looks like these are our only options. We have this really old Darren Young Afro head sculpt, and then we have the old Kofi Kingston ponytail head sculpt, and we already have a Kofi Kingston head sculpt on there, so I think I want to go with the Darren Young because all the rest are just Shelton Benjamin heads and Kofi Kingston heads, and I kind of want to switch it up a little bit and just kind of see what's going on with that. Um, and then the only other thing I would say is uh, I want to find that Rich Swan head, man. I think that would be a lot better. But you know what? We're going to go with this Darren Young head, and we'll just see how that pans out. All right, guys, so for our next thing, which is the other Kofi pieces, we have this other uh, this custom Cedric Alexander that was made by me and BEW Animations. And what I'm thinking for this is do the same thing, switch out the thighs here, but it does say Kofi right there. I don't know if I like that, Brad. You know what? We're not going to do this one. We're not going to do this one. We're going to keep our other Kofi, though, and uh, we will come back to that in, a, in another episode of Surgery. What we're going to do for this one is uh, we're going to move on to our other little things we want to do because there's still a lot of things we still have to do here today on this Thinking Outside the Box episode. So what we're going to do is move on to our Shawn Michaels, and we're going to see how that pans out. Now, for this Shawn Michaels, I actually have some pretty good ideas. I think that, uh, first of all, obviously we need a Shawn Michaels head sculpt, which I think I do have in my fodder box. We'll have to look at that. But uh, we need arms and we need kick pads here. And I think I have I have the perfect, uh, you know, uh, kick pads for this. I have the exact ones, actually. Like, you see that? I have these exact kick pads to, uh, to pop up in here. But I think it would look cooler to add these Elite 45 Seth Rollins kick pads to give him that white and gold look to tie in to the uh, to the trunks. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that'd be kind of cool, you know, just kind of pop that in there, see what that looks like. So I think I'm going to use these Seth Rollins kick pads to pop onto the Shawn Michaels. The other bit of business we have to do, guys, is find some arms. And this is my arm box right here. It'll go ahead and lift you up a little bit. I actually have some Shawn Michaels arms down in here. And um, I think I have some black ones in here. Okay, there's the one arm. I think the black arms, I know they're not, you know, accurate, but I think the black arms actually would uh, tie in better because then we'd have, you know, white, black, and gold all tying in. So there's our Shawn Michaels arms. We're going to put these on that fodder piece and kind of see what that looks like. You know, again, this is sort of a fantasy attire effort for this Shawn Michaels, so we'll just see how that pans out. And now the last thing we need is a head sculpt. 
All right, guys, for our head sculpt now, I do usually keep uh, my long-haired head sculpts in this portion, so I guess I'm just going to sort through this and see if I can find that Shawn Michaels. I don't think I have, you know, like a ponytail Shawn Michaels or anything like that. I think the only Shawn Michaels I have in here are like the Marty Jannetty Rockers head sculpt. So um, I guess we'll just use that flashback Shawn Michaels head. It may actually give us like a better Frankenstein-looking effort and make it look even cooler. So uh, there's my little terrible Matt Riddle. And booyah, I finally found that piece of ass. So there you go. We're going to pop this on there and just see what the hell it looks like. May look like trash, you know, but we're going to try it anyway. It gives us like a very young looking Shawn Michaels slash hybrid piece of trash. So our Shawn Michaels is complete on parts. Now what we have to do is finish up with our Daniel Bryan figures. And these actually should be kind of easy compared to the others. So let's just go ahead and take a look. Um, for our first Daniel Bryan, which is going to be this like Elite 38 right here. Um, all we need are knee pads. And I think I already see them because I have my red designated ones right here. And I think these are going to look pretty Pretty cool on here. I know this isn't the Elite 38. I think these came off a of basic, but I think these knee pads will look the best on there. Yeah, I like that, Brad. That looks fire. So now all we need are kick pads, and I think I'm just going to go with solid black because I don't think I have anything else. I mean, I have these white ones, but you have to acetone them, and they have Miz's logos on them. So yeah, probably just going to go with black kick pads. And then finally, guys, we do need a head sculpt and some arms for this little Daniel Bryan fodder right here, which is the Elite 38 trunks with the Elite 19 knee pads and kick pads, I think. I can't remember, but I know I have a head sculpt over here that I'm just going to grab. Oh, yeah, right here, baby. I think this came off of a basic, so I think I'm just going to slam this head right there. Give us like a different looking Daniel Bryan. And then all we need are white wrist tape arms, which I have a hundred of in my arm fodder. So uh, that's what we're going to grab. And now it is time to work on our figures and put them all together, guys. So let's go over there and start some surgery. All right, guys, it is time for the surgery portion of the video. And what I think we're going to do is do the simplest stuff first. I think that that would probably be the easiest. So what we're going to do, actually, one thing I did want to tell you guys is that I did switch out the... Uh, the the white wrist tape arms that we're going to put on here. We're going to take these off and put them onto this Daniel Bryan, and then we're going to take some black wrist tape arms and put them on this Daniel Bryan, and then I think that will tie in the black Kit Kat, Kit, Kit Kats. You know, the black Kit Kats. Going to put those Kit Kats onto the figure. The black Kit Pads are going to go better onto this figure with those uh, new knee pads and the black wrist tape with the black Kit Pads. Should tie it in better. Then we have our Frankenstein Effort Creator Wrestler, and then we have uh, our Shawn Michaels as well. So I think we're going to start off with these three first because um, this Creator Wrestler guy is probably going to take the most work just because we have to switch out thighs and we have to do the lower legs and all that. So we'll get to him last, but we are going to start off with these three right here, and I think this will be the easiest thing. Uh, we do have our trusty white hair dryer right here, so what we're going to do is go ahead and do this first. Um, we do have to heat up these arms, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I think we may actually be able to do all this at once. We're going to have to test it, though, and just kind of see, because we do have to put these arms over there, so we're going to put this in front of that. Go ahead and have the, uh, you know what we need to do? Get two hair dryers. That would be state-of-the-art right there. Two hair dryers for the surgery and the thinking outside the box. Now, that is something that will uh, get you going. Actually, need to go ahead and put these knee pads onto this figure here before we start. That way, we can just go ahead and plug the, the kick pads on, and I can acetone off that uh, rainbow whenever, but we're not going to be looking at the back of the figure for now so I'm not going to really be that worried about it at the moment so we're just going to put these on here first and then we'll heat up everything all right got that now well, where were we Brad we're going to take the arms put them in front of the hair dryer like so uh, we do have to plug that hand in so we're going to have to heat that hole up while heating up this there we go like that and then put the kick pad there kick pad the, there maybe we'll see about that gonna put the fist away because we have to plug that into that that wrist hole got all that in front of it now this doesn't need to be anywhere near we can put that back there with the daniel bryan this head sculpt has to be he heated up so we're gonna put that there uh these kick pads have to be heated up so we're gonna try and strategically place all of this i'll be shocked if we get it all you guys know how we do if we get it all, then it's just freaking crazy, but probably won't. You know, that's usually how it goes. Psych, that, uh, we always successful. Remember, MDT never messes up, never botches it. There we go like that. Building like a house of cards right here. And then as soon as I turn the John Brown thing on, you know what's going to happen, Brad. They're going to blow away like the freaking little house on the prairie. Here we go.
All right, guys, ultimate time to go here. Let's see if we can make this thing work. Uh, we're going to start off with these arms because I knew this was far away. Um, I knew that this was, you know, the furthest thing away from the hairdryer, so I wanted to see if that could switch out. It's not very warm at all, but hopefully we can get it on there. Okay, we got that arm. Now coming over here, popping that off, get this over here. Uh, we're making, like, quick work of this. We're doing pretty well. Let's see if we can finish up this Daniel Bryan already. All right, we got that. That Daniel Bryan is completed, Brad. That was pretty good timing right there. I think we're doing okay. We're popping that on. Take the fist. I mean, look at Dr. Whitekiss. Dr. Whitekiss just going ham right now. Oh, my God. Look at him go, Brad. He's making good time right now. I think we're going to be able to pop everything off and on. We're making good progress here. Are these kick pads going to go on? They are. Like, look at the look at the mastery level right here. This is like level 100 masterfication of switching of the parts in a timely fashion. Come on, damn it, yes. So Daniel Bryan is done. Now we're moving on to Shawn Michaels. Brad, can he complete the trifecta? One kick pad, other kick pad, got it. Now moving on to the arms. Can we get it on there? Got that one arm, flipping him around, going to the other arm. I mean, this is magical. Just look at what's happening here. If we get the head scan on, it is completed. Let's go! Wow, that was excellent. That was excellent. So we did all of that in a matter of, I don't even know. Somebody somebody look at the time on that. Somebody tell me how fast that was, how long that took us. And we'll take a closer look at all of that at the end, Brad. But first, we do have to get to our creator wrestler. And we are going to need a name for said creator wrestler at the end. So you guys, it's going to be up to you guys to give me a cool name at the end. But uh, what epic sauce right there, guys. We got all that stuff switched. So our fantasy attire Daniel Bryan, our fantasy attire Shawn Michaels, and then our little fix-up Daniel Bryan all coming together. All right, guys, so now it is time for this one. Now, this one is going to be a lot more difficult, and I highly doubt we'll be able to get everything on there. And I know for a fact we're not going to, so we got to put these knee pads out of the way. Um, and the kick pads, like, we have to heat up these lower legs, we have to heat up both thighs, I mean, Jesus, man, this may be, this may be very just, oh God, because heating up thighs is just awful. Heating up thighs and getting them off is just not fun, Brad, you don't want to do it. We're going to try it here, we're going to heat this up and see what goes down, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to freaking uh, bet on anything, because the last one is going to be much easier compared to this one. This one's going to be a nightmare, probably, trying to heat this up, like, water is the best way Way to do this because when you do it with heat sometimes it doesn't want to work so let's just go ahead and hit it we got to switch out these thighs switch out those lower legs kick pads knee pads head sculpts just awfulness here we go and it begins all right guys here we go moment of truth Oh, God, it's so freaking hot. Oh, God in heaven. Jesus Christ. I don't think anybody's ever figured out a good way of removing thighs like this. God dang in heaven. Because you got to be careful because if you, if you don't bend it right, you will snap off the pine cone joint or whatever. And that's not what you want, Brad. Damn, I don't know how to do this shit. Ugh. Okay, I got the one. I'm sorry I can't get it on camera, but that, that stuff is hell. It is hell. We're going to heat that back up. You know what, Brad? You may have to... I may have to just end the segment here, and you guys will see when they're automatically switched, because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on camera, and I'm not going to be able to... Uh heat it up and keep heating it up and stuff like that so i will see you guys once these thighs are attached to this kofi body right here with uh with the all with this switched you know what brad jeez that sucks all right, uh, I finally got these thighs off, and I actually figured out a method. Maybe I can show you guys in another episode or something like that. It's actually not terrible once you figure out the method and you get the method going. Um, here we go with these thighs on here. So there we go. We got the biker trunks look. Now what we have to do is pop up this Kofi head sculpt, and you have to be careful with that Kofi head sculpt because it will snap on you if you're not careful. Please do not give me a giraffe neck, Darren Young. Don't give me a giraffe neck, Darren, 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 Frick. Is it is it on there? Is that on there? Yeah, I mean he's I mean I don't 
I don't know. It's not terrible. That didn't look half bad. Again, if we had the rich swan head sculpt, which I wanted to have. I mean, he's kind of got like a bobblehead going, but you know what? There, There's that. Now we just have to put on the rest of the pieces. Now, the only way to put on the rest of the pieces is to heat up all of this. So we're going to heat up these lower legs, put them over here, put the knee pads on, put the kick pads on. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if we can get this going. Uh, right lower leg completed. Go ahead and put the peg in so you don't lose it. Uh, there's the one leg and then the left lower leg. Go ahead and grab that. Get rid of that trash. Get it out of my face. Okay, now this is the left one correct that I just had. Yes, now I'll try to put this on. Fail miserably. Go back to the right side. Okay, I think we got this side. Yeah, we got the right side. Now we just got to get this left side, you piece of shit. My God, I gotta go take a deuce. Urgh. I don't think we got that. That's trash. That's garbage. You know what? Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and heat this up while heating up the kick pads. And that should be good. We should be able to complete it all in one take with our knee pads. All right, let's go ahead and hit. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see if that is long enough to pop, and holy shit, I just burnt the shit out of myself. Oh my God in heaven. All right, we got it. We freaking got it. Now let's put these knee pads on here. Damn it. Okay, left, and then right, and then kick pads. Still loosey-goosey. Garbage. You know what? I'll see you guys at the next segment. This shit is too flimsy-whimsy to put on here. So I'll see you guys at the end. All right, guys. Here's everything we did here today on Thinking Outside the Box, episode number two. Starting off first, guys, we do have our Daniel Bryan fix-up sort of deal. I think this looks pretty good. You know, we made good usage out of that Elite 19 Daniel Bryan or whatever the hell the thing is. And uh, I think it turned out pretty well. Again, this is the Elite 38 with the Elite 19, I think. I could be wrong. Kick pads and knee pads with white wrist tape arms and a random Daniel Bryan head sculpt. I can't remember if this is just off a of basic or if this is a certain elite. I, I don't know the all the different Daniel Bryan elite series off the top of my head, but it looks good nonetheless, and uh, I guess this can go on the Daniel Bryan shelf, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, to go with this, we do have the other elite 38 Daniel Bryan vomit. Almost vomited. With the Elite 38 fix-up variant here with the Elite 38 trunks, Elite 38 head sculpt, the black wrist tape arms, the white, red, and black knee pads, and then the plain black kick pads. Not my favorite, but you know, it's a different take, and we did uh, fix up this Daniel Bryan that was just, you know, in pieces, so it's cool to, you know, bring him to life here and him actually be able to walk around in ish. so there is that Daniel Bryan. Here's our sort of hybrid, young slash old, weird Shawn Michaels fix-up. We have the Rockers Retro Fest head sculpt. We have the Shawn Michaels uh, torso, crotch, legs, uh, the random Elite 12 Shawn Michaels arms to go. to go with our WrestleMania 12 pants, which is the WrestleMania 33 Elite, and then we have the white Seth Rollins kick pads. You guys can see this one leg is super loose. Like, I'm gonna have to fix that. I hate that garbage, but I think this turned out pretty cool. You know, it's sort of just this weird attire for Shawn Michaels, but I think it works. It's nothing too crazy. Again, it was just to, you know, the, the that's the purpose of thinking outside the box. Just sort of throw some stuff together, see what it looks like throw some shit at the wall, see what sticks, and that's pretty much the whole point of it. So there is our Shawn Michaels. I thought that turned out pretty good. And here is our Create a Wrestler, which uh, is basically Darren Young. I mean, it's a Darren Young head skull, but I don't know a cool name. If you guys have a cool name for him, um, then hit me down in the comment section below for him. But uh, I think it turned out all right. I think it all goes together. The gold kind of matches up well with the trunks. Um, I would like to see more blue on the guy, but I think it turns out pretty cool. It all kind of goes. I like these knee pads with these kick pads. I think they turned out okay. And I think I think the gold on the front really doesn't hinder it that much. I think it turned out okay. I think it turned out pretty nice. Obviously, he has Kofi's tattoos and stuff, but the the attire is pretty generic. I mean, you don't really, I mean, the, it's pretty generic. just looks like some designs on either side. And again, I wish we had that Rich One head sculpt. I'm sure it's somewhere. I just couldn't find it this morning. But uh, here he is in all his glory, great articulation. Waist is kind of freaking flimsy whimsy, stupid ass piece of trash. That makes me upset. But nonetheless, it all came together. I like the way it looks. And 
and uh, our Darren Young hybrid creator wrestler guy looks pretty solid. So the people that wanted me to make a creator wrestler, I hope you guys are satisfied with that. The people that made me or that wanted me to do fantasy attires, I hope you guys uh, like that when I put all these together. Maybe we can get some more out of these in the future and, you know, mixing up different parts and stuff. But another successful day of thinking outside the box. We will be back with another episode very, very soon, and we're going to get some ideas going and stuff. But that does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic Thinking Outside the Box episodes. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode and video. Thank you. Thank you.